because I catastrophize. You know, I always look at the worst case scenario. Now, now I do this as a job, I see you as an audience differently. I do, because if you go and watch music, at the end of a song, you will clap, whether you liked it or not. It's a Pavlovian response, right? With comedy, it's different. If you don't laugh at one of my jokes, that's instant feedback. <laughs> it is. And down this end now, I panic. I panic. If a joke falls flat, do you know what I see now? I see shoes been removed from my toddler's feet. <laughs> Don't or it, love. That's the power you've got, sat clutching your cagoule. That's what you're doing right now. That's for Edinburgh. She's on the front. She's not enjoying it. Come on. Dragging around the room. It gets worse. He gets a spoonful of Weetabix just been teased out of a starving mouth. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Sophia. You'll eat today if you're fast. Come on. Are you hungry? Shame your daddy isn't. Might have had a TV credit by now. There's a romance to being an artist, but there's a reality to being a parent, and the two don't mix, do they? Like, Olivia will come up to me one day, she'll say, Daddy, will I be able to go to university? Oh. <laughs> Bit awkward, that, mate. See, what happened is, Daddy nearly got to 40. <laughs> had a crisis. Decided to follow his dreams. And now you can't. <laughs> Sorry. 